Hello everyone, this is Phoebe. I was asked yesterday by several lower level uh, members who have not tried the edit mode, how do you edit your farm in the edit mode? I'm going to try and show everyone here. And uh, let's go. I'm on a level 46, so this is pretty much the same methods here would apply to you if you're level 23, which is the level that you can, you first can uh, get the option of editing. Okay, so sit down here in the uh, lower right hand corner, the little um, emblem that shows the little arrows coming out of it. Well, that's for edit mode, so let's tap on it. And you can see here that I have option layout one or option layout two. Well, you, just by looking at that, you can see that two is just a duplicate of layout one. But if I want to edit layout one, what I'm going to do is tap my copy button. And it tells me now I can paste that over here. So let's do that. I've replaced that. So now we're going to edit on layout two. We're reserving layout one because there's a possibility that if we don't finish, we can still go back to layout one and still play on our farm. So let's go and edit layout. Tap the layout button. Now I can do lots of things over here in this mode. I can clear the entire farm area off. As you can see, the farmhouse and uh, it's a static item, so it became transparent as did the trees of the uh, land that I have not opened as of yet. They become in a static mode. Only the things that you have put on your farm can you see. So if you tap on the second button from the box, the little box button, tap on that. And there you can see that we have uh, 91 fields and all the pens and the uh, pit uh, the horse stables and the dog houses, those all total up to 91. And 22 is for all the machinery. 57, I'm sorry, <laughs> the little house with the 22 on it is for all the machinery. And the tree with the 57 on it is all of your bushes and your trees. And it's showing that we have one deco on this farm. And that deco, we can remove that. And I'll show you how you can just automatically remove it by tapping the one. Uh, look over there, it's the bunny rabbit, the snow rabbit. So let's tap one, twice, and it's gone from the farm. Okay? So now, if you want to edit, uh, move your fields around, you can go in there and tap 91. It's going to take all your fields, your stables and dog houses, your animal pens, it's going to take them all. Oh, you look at that. You may ask, where'd your animals go? Don't worry. They're sitting over on uh, layout number one. So uh, I can tap that and take off those all off if I want to, or take off the buildings, the, which is the machinery. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you that you can just do certain items, one or two items on your own. So we tap the erase mode. And we can go in here and take off one or two items, or three or four, however many you want. Now turn erase mode off. Don't forget to turn it off when you're uh, done with erasing something, or you'll end up removing something that you don't want to. Now let's go back up here into the uh, storage files. And you can see there's the cat house. We're going to put it back out here. And there's the stable. We're going to put that back out here. Okay, I probably didn't put them in the same place. And there's those two berry bushes that I showed you the example on. So let's put them back out here. Okay, now if I want to just <laughs> clear up this whole farm and edit it, I would just hit each one of these twice and it would take everything off the farm. I don't want to do that uh, because I'm not going to totally edit this farm. Uh, I borrowed this from my granddaughter to show everyone how to do the edit mode. So uh, let's move and rearrange a few things. Let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and do the fields and the pins. All right, look, they're gone. 
Okay, up here they all are. It says 91 in there. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to put the fields back out there. Take one field and see the paintbrush? You can slide that paintbrush right along here instead of putting them out there one at a time. And watch the number at the top. It goes down with each one that you place. We're down to 10. All right, we have placed them all. I don't like how some of them are not exactly in equal spots, so I'm going to shift them over there. All right, see? Well, let's move one more. Give it, how to make it equal there. And there you can see I've put the fields out there. Now, you can do those with the paintbrush, but these, you'll have to do them one at a time. Let's go ahead and put the chicken pens out here. And now we got the cow pens. Not sure how she had everything. And the pig pens. Let's go ahead and put those up here. I'm not uh, doing any real design or anything here. I'm just placing, showing you the placement. Whatever design you come up with, I'm sure it will be very lovely. I'm going to put the goat pens out here. I know she had those up there somewhere. And now we got the sheet pens. So let's put one here. Go ahead and put the other two out here. Okay, now we got to put the animal houses back. And oh my, my. Not sure <laughs> where she had those. Uh, let's just put them in here any place. <laughs> She plays on the other, the farm that's in um, layout one anyway. And we place the, see how easy they are to place? And you can just arrange them any way you want to. Uh, if you are wanting to add decorations, hit your flower, which takes you to your decorations. And there's that snow bunny right there at the top. Let's put it back out there. Uh, use any of these decorations. Um, I don't know which ones I would use. Uh, you, you can just make some, put some color around the farmhouse. Okay, as you can see, the paintbrush shows me that I got two more. So let's just put them all out there. All three of them are there. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, let's put out the caterpillar by those flowers. Okay. So see, you can arrange and do anything you want and redesign. It's, it's really uh a great tool to have. And now I'll show you when we close it up. I'm going to hit the green arrow over here in the bottom left. Ask me if I want to save changes. Yes. I can use that layout now if I want to. But to go back to your original layout, just tap it like that. Now let's go back to the edit mode here. I want to show you what happens if you don't have everything placed again. Let's uh, take this off. And take this one off. All right, let's close it. Alrighty. So I'm going to go over here at the green arrow. Save changes. Whoops, look at there what it tells me. Red exclamation point means that I have placed essentials and I cannot set this as active. So that's a good mode to have if you don't finish your decoration and you want to be able to go back to it later or your redesign, you want to go back to it later. Just let it set there. Go ahead and tap that one, and you're back in the playing mode. It's just that easy. Uh, if you have any problems with it or anything, you know, place it in the comments below, and I'll try to answer all your questions. And it's a it's a fun little um, fun little tool to have at your disposal when you want to change and redecorate your farm. Okay. Now I could show you, well, just bear with me a moment. I'll jump over to my big farm and show you what I have going on as far as dec uh, using the edit modes. I have too many, quite honestly. 
Now here I am on my main farm. Let's go into the edit mode. Now look, I have all these designs out here that I'm working on. I wish I probably will never finish some of them, but this is the one that I was doing in the stream ever yesterday that everybody was talking about. We're going to edit this mode. And you can see here I have quite a few things going on. I've changed my beehives and kind of put a little tea garden here. I love this design here. But let's get out of that. I don't want to show you everything. But uh, this, is, this is just uh, one of the things you can aim for with all your decorations. Now my active mode, I'm going to go right back into it. And there we are. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And you know what else you can do? If you would, please, when you're making your diamond purchase or your farm purchase, farm pass purchase, enter code Phoebe. There we are, entered. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Bye now.